Hey there everyone. So I wanted to do one more little video, hopefully short, about my witchy goals for 2017. I have been having a time and a half trying to do my New Year's goals. I try to do them every year and every year I kind of fail a little bit at it. Um, aside from the fact that resolutions aren't really my thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was really hurting my back sitting against that wall. Um, aside from that, um, just trying to formulate goals for an entire year seems like really big for me. I like to do it just to have a general overview of the year, things in general that I want to happen during the year. Um, but I think I need to do better about once I have that kind of general overview, getting more specific by quarter. Um, I think that works out or will work out a little bit better for me. I've tried it a little bit in the past, but not consistently. So what I wanted to share with you today is my main goal. For any of you that saw my Instagram post with the, the kind of the wheel of the year uh, picture where I had all the days around uh, a wheel, that was to help me out with what I want to do with my little Etsy shop. Now, I enjoy having the shop. Right now, there's just readings in there because I have been traveling too much to offer the physical products. I've been thinking of what do I want to do with that next year? What? How do I want it to grow? Do I want it to grow? And all that stuff. So um, that was what I did for that kind of business aspect of things. And then, of course, I am, I, I do still have to make plans for this channel and my blog. And my, my main, my only goal, really, with that is to be consistent with posting. I've gotten better, but I'm still not perfect. And um, just figuring out an optimal system for getting things up and posted when I want them up and posted. So that's the, really the only goal for all of the technical stuff. Now, as to me personally and my uh, witchy path, what do I want to do this year? Well, I have already mentioned wanting to start hand-making my Book of Shadows, kind of the more permanent Book of Shadows. I was not able to get those samples I spoke about before the new year, so it'll, it will have to wait until I get back from my trip. Um, but in the meantime, so the, the Book of Shadows, basically I want to get transcribed all of the completed portions, meaning the rituals, the blots, because the rest of it is not going to be complete as long as I'm still a witch. <laughs> That's going to be ongoing. But um, I do want to actually start getting physical pen on paper stuff transcribed, all of that. And as far as practice, what I want to do is focus more on the spiritual, which I've been doing this past year, but not officially. Um, my thing with the Wheel of the Year and the, the blots, the Sabbaths, is, and I was, I was just drawing it out this morning. I keep looking over here because I've got my journal. I've got my notebook here, my Wheel of the Year. This is the the sun portion of the year. This is the religious aspect. I see very uh, in my view of things it's very clear that the celebration of the sabbaths is the religious aspect of it and then the meditation, the spell work, the contemplation, all of that is the spiritual aspect and those two usually go together but in my case they do not always go together and quite honestly the celebrating of the sabbaths is not all that important to me because I'm solitary I don't I'm not part of a group so going through these rituals by myself unless I have some reason if I'm really looking forward to it which sometimes I do um, it, it's really not that important to me otherwise. So I was thinking about that. Why should I knock myself out trying to celebrate eight holidays throughout the year 
when not all of them are of equal importance to me. I can just focus on those that are important to me at this point, which are Winter Nights, Yule, <clears throat> um, I do enjoy Disting and Walpurgisnacht, so I think I want to celebrate those this year, but not necessarily as a full ritual. Disting specifically, will I plan on celebrating during the February full moon, and the Feast of Thunar will be the full moon in January for me. And because of that, because those are kind of in between, I think I will have an easier time doing those as simpler rituals or spell work, something a little bit more spiritual rather than ritual. Especially the January moon um, for the Feast of uh, Thunar, because that one takes place in the middle of my trip to Austria and none of my family there are going to want to tar take part in that or really even understand what I'm doing. So I plan on if I do anything for that, it will have to be on my own, something very small. <clears throat> so that said, other holidays like uh, Ostera, I really enjoy because it has memory for me from things my family did, but it's not something I would necessarily celebrate on my own. My family did gifts, and I'm by myself, so I probably won't do that, unless I happen to be here with my family for Ostera. Now, what I do like doing, if I can find all of the materials and put it together, is an Ostera tree with pussy willows and painted eggs, uh, blown out eggs. So I would do that, or maybe do a little mini brunch for myself, maybe invite a friend over. Something like that I, I would do as a celebration. The other thing I really want to try and celebrate this year is my birthday in August, because I have not celebrated my birthday in a couple of years now. And it's not because I'm one of these people who hates my birthday, and actually I that gets irritating to me because I know so many people who seem so irritated that they have a birthday. Oh, I'm getting older. I don't want to so I don't want to remember. I like my birthday. I love my birthday. I want it to be all about me. I'm a Leo, obviously. <laughs> so last year, my birthday was a, a wash. My sister came out on a trip and we had a bad road trip and then she wound up having to leave like the day of our birthday because my sister and I are twins and so we didn't do anything and for a couple of years before that we had tried and failed to reenact a really fun birthday we did in which we took the ferry from Long Beach to Catalina Island uh, they do this birthday island thing where you get free fair on the ferry and then you get little freebies around the island you get a little ribbon to wear and yeah, that was a lot of fun it was a great day so we wanted to do that again maybe we can make one more attempt this year I don't know but I want to do something for my birthday um and that is about it as far as the wheel of the year stuff those are the things that I wanted to concentrate on and then as said, other than that, I want to focus more on the spiritual aspect, which includes, I showed this off in the last video, but I want to do these Traveler's Notebook inserts per month. I want to kind of observe the months, see what does each month mean to me, what comes up during that month, what associations I can make as far as themes, herbs, crystals, etc., and kind of think about it, take notes on it, and hopefully if I can keep that up throughout the year then I'll have a little set of info that I can work with then in the in the next year. And and maybe make up some, you know, some spells and things and do a little work that way, just in small chunks so it doesn't feel so necessary that I do, but it stays fun that way. That's the idea, anyway. I think that's it. <laughs> I wanted to stick to just my 
witchy goals for this video. So I talked about the shop a little bit. I talked about the Book of Shadows. My Wheel of the Year is a big one. And then the 13 moons. So that's what's on the docket for this coming year. And I hope I am able to keep you posted on how that's going. Do please keep me accountable. <laughs> And uh, let me know what your witchy plans are for the coming year. And we will, we can work together to keep each other accountable. Be our New Year witchy resolution buddies. <laughs> Alright, so hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you soon. Bye.